Everyone who is watching right now, I want you to go in the comments of this video and tell me what is your favorite book. Me personally, I'm trying to eliminate as much screen time as possible, especially before I go to bed. I always watch movies or like go on my phone, be on social media. I'm trying to use my time more wisely. So I decided to read more books. And I know it's such a cliche. Everyone is always saying that beginning of the year or oh, I'm gonna read more books but I really want to do it so let me know what's your favorite book in the comments and I might check it out if it interests me happy Monday everyone before I start this video I just want to say thank you so very much for watching these videos leaving a like and a comment it really means a lot and shows that people do care about these videos I make and you know that gives me the confidence of continuing to upload once a week. Now this video will be a little different. Like I said, I wanna use my time more wisely. So this video will all be about time management, productivity, and how to achieve your goals. A few days ago, I shared a tweet on my Instagram story, which said, time spent has nothing to do with job done. And essentially what that means is being busy doesn't mean you're productive. Today I want to show you guys a very interesting graph I've been following for a while now. There's this book called Essentialism. I've read it years ago and after reading this book there was one thing which stand out and one value I kept after reading this book. Which was this one simple, very simple graph illustrating how crucial it is to be productive, have a proper mindset, and set your focus and energy right. I'm gonna do a proper animation and like, you know, showcasing you guys the graph, but right now I just have it here on my phone so I know what I'm talking about. So if you look at the graph, you see, you know, two circles labeled energy. And essentially, you know, that is your energy, your focus, how you spend your time. And the, the arrows are representing achievement, results. On the left side, you can see if your energy and your focus is all over the place. You can only get so far with what you're trying to accomplish. Whereas on the right side, if you truly spend the most valuable energy and time in that one thing you want to you know, learn, achieve, you'll get way further now if you understand this graph this graph can literally be applied to anything business relationships elevating your life stop spending all your energy and time on all these different things if you truly know what you want to do do it spend your time wisely and focus on that one thing it actually leads me to a second graph i would like to share with you it is the 80 20 rule and i'm sure a lot of you have heard about it, but if you look at the graph, essentially what it means is that your goal is to spend 20% of the effort to achieve 80% of the results. However, a lot of people, and this is almost like the other graph I just shared with you, a lot of people spend 80% of the effort but they only achieve 20% of the results and don't get far with what they're trying to accomplish. And same with the other graph, the 80-20 rule can be applied to anyone in any life circumstance. 
I want to give you guys a real life example just to clarify the 80 20 rule and how I apply it to my business. Now, at G Studios, I make 80% of the revenue with doing 20% of the work. Let me explain. The most revenue, the most money I make with G Studios is by having clients on a monthly retainer. And the beauty is that those clients I have on a monthly retainer, it takes only you know, 20% of the actual time and work to get the job done. Meaning, I put all my energy, and let's go back to graph number one. I put all my energy and all my focus into trying to find and expand my clientele having on monthly retainers, rather than focusing on trying to find music video gigs, first AC gigs, you know, these gigs, these jobs, they come and they go. However, with monthly retainers, I know every month how much money I get in. And generally speaking, once you're, once you establish a nice relationship with those clients, the job is done fairly quick. So what I'm trying to do is moving forward to find more clients I can sign on a monthly retainer rather than doing a music video treatment and jumping from one job to another, never knowing how much I actually gonna make. These two graphs, the 80-20 rule, as well as the you know graph from the book Essentialism, really, really showcased me what I need to do moving forward in order to achieve results. And I really wanted to share that with you guys. I thought it was really valuable for me, and I was thinking maybe not everyone is aware, um, so I wanna give some value back. Beyond that, I've been personally consuming a lot of content regarding personal finance, real estate and investing. Because I think once you've figured out how you wanna spend your time and what you actually wanna do, the next thing is to understand money. Because money is just a tool. Money, you just use money to move forward in life. I've been personally watching a lot of videos about real estate and um, just investing, having your money work rather than sitting in your bank account. Maybe I do a video about that in the future. But yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you guys learned something. The reason why I shared that with you is because I found this content really valuable for my own life. So I wanted to share it with you guys. If you learned something, let me know in the comments. What did you learn? Have you been applying the 80-20 rule to your own life yet? And um, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. I really try to grow. Other than that, I wish you a great week and I see you soon. Peace.